Hello everyone. Our today's topic is fractions. In this topic, we will first study different types of fractions and then we'll take examples based on this topic. Before we proceed, please like and subscribe my channel. Types of fractions. Like fractions. When the denominator is same, we say that the fractions are like fractions. Here you can see that 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 6 by 7, all these fractions have same denominators. So we say that these fractions are like fractions. Unlike fractions, when the denominator is different, then we say that the fractions are unlike fractions. 3 by 5, 8 by 9, 3 by 4, these fractions are called unlike fractions. Third one is proper fraction. When the numerator is smaller than the denominator, or when you will divide, you will get a value which is less than 1. Then we say that it is a proper fraction. Here you can see that 1 by 5, 2 by 3, 5 by 9. In all these fractions, numerator is smaller than the denominator. So we say that these fractions are proper fractions. Improper fraction is opposite of proper fraction. When the numerator and denominator are equal or numerator is greater than denominator, then we say that the fraction, these fractions are improper fraction. Here you can see that 6 by 5, numerator is greater than denominator. 5 by 4, numerator is greater than denominator. These kind of fractions are called improper fraction. And when you will divide, you will get a value which is greater than 1 or equal to 1. These kind of fractions are called improper fraction in which numerator is greater than or equal to denominator. Mixed number. What is a mixed number? A number which contains a whole number and a fraction. Then that number is called a mixed number. A mixed number which contains a whole number and a fraction is called a mixed number. 5, 1 by 3. 6, 3 by 4, 7, 3 by 4 is a is mixed number. These numbers are called mixed number. Equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction means two or more fractions representing the same part of the whole are known as equivalent fraction. When you are dividing in equal parts, see 1 by 2, 3 by 6, 4 by 8, you, when you are dividing in equal parts, then we say that these, uh, that fraction is equivalent fraction, 1 by 2. If you are having a triangle and you are di dividing into two parts, see, 3 by 6, you are having a rectangle, you are dividing into dividing it into six parts and then you are shading in, shading three parts of it. You are taking three parts of it. Three shaded, three unshaded. These kind of fractions are called equivalent fraction. Reciprocal fractions, when the product of the fraction is equal to 1, they are called reciprocal fraction. 8 by 9, 9 by 8. When you will multiply, see 9 cancels with 9, 8 cancels with 8 and answer is 1. These kind of fractions are called reciprocal fractions. 2 by 3, 3 by 2. When you will multiply, what value you will get? You will get 1. 3 cancels with 3, 2 cancels with 2. So these kind of fractions are called reciprocal fractions. Our first problem based on fraction is write 4 fractions equivalent to each of the following. 1 by 3, 4 by 5, 2 by 11. These are the 3 fractions given. We have to find its equivalent fraction. How, how to find equivalent fraction? If you will multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number, you will get equivalent fraction. Here I am multiplying it with 2. 1 by 3 with 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. Again here, now for the second term, I got the first term. Now for the second term, I am multiplying it with 3. 3 ones are 3 upon 3 threes are 9. I got second one also. Now for the third term, 4 ones are 4. 4 threes are 12. Like that, you can find any number of terms you want. 
In the second problem, four by five. Again, I am multiplying with the same number in the numerator and in the denominator. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. First term, I found the first term. Now second one, four threes are twelve. Five threes are fifteen. Like this, five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. Three terms. It is asked. We have to find four terms. Now the fourth one. Six fours are twenty-four. Six fives are thirty. Third one is two by eleven. Again, I am multiplying with two. Two twos are four. Eleven twos are twenty-two. Two threes are six. Eleven threes are thirty-three. Two fours are eight. Eleven fours are forty-four. Like that, you can find this also. Two fives are ten. Eleven fives are fifty-five. These four terms. Next one is. Fill in the blanks. We have to find this term. One by five is equal to dash upon twenty-two. How to find this? You will. You can split this twenty into. You can take factors of this actually. Five into four is twenty. So I'm writing it as five into four. So I'm multiplying this four with five. So what I'm whatever I'm doing in the denominator, same I have to do in the numerator. So I'm going to multiply this one with four. So one fours are four. Five fours are twenty. Four by twenty. Here, dash upon seven is equal to twenty-four upon twenty-eight. We have to find this term. First term. Again, we are going to split this seven. You can divide this twenty-eight by seven. So what I'm doing? I'm dividing this twenty-eight by seven. What you will get? Seven into four. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Factors of twenty-eight. Seven fours are twenty-eight. And I am multiplying this seven with four. Whatever I am doing in the denominator, same we have to do in the numerator. So I am going to multiply this with four. Twenty-four is here. So how to find this term? I will divide this twenty-four with four because this four is here. Seven is already here. This four is here. So I am going to divide this twenty-four with four. What you will get? Six. Six fours are twenty-four. So this value is six. Thirty-five upon fifty is equal to seven upon dash. Again, you want the value of this term. So what I am doing? Seven divide this thirty-five by seven. Seven pi's are thirty-five. So I am writing it as seven pi's are and fifty. Seven pi's are five. So I am again dividing this fifty with five. So five tens are fifty. So ten, you will get this ten to five. I am dividing and multiplying with five. Convert the following improper fraction into mis mixed fraction. How to find the mixed fraction? Twenty one upon six. Divide this twenty one by six. So six threes are eighteen. What is remainder? Plus three upon six. So this is our divisor quotient, and this is remainder. Whatever is your quotient, we are going to write it here. Remainder here upon this divisor. So this is three, three by six. Three, three by six. Three, six is eighteen plus three upon six. Three hundred and five upon eighty-five. So eighty-five threes. I am dividing three zero five by. 85. So I am getting it as 85 into 3 plus 50. This 85 is my divider, divisor. 3 is my quotient, and 50 is my remainder. I am writing my quotient here, remainder here, and the divisor here. So 85 threes are plus 50 will be your answer. 305 upon 85. Now converting mixed number into improper fractions. Fourteen fours are plus three upon four. How to do it? Fourteen three by four. So I'm going to multiply this fourteen into four plus three upon four, which is nothing but fifty nine upon four. In the second question, twenty five into five plus four. Twenty five into five plus four upon five is equal to one twenty five plus four upon five, which is one twenty nine upon five. Comparison of fractions. Like denominators and unlike. Numerators. When the denominator is same, what you you have to take the numerator term. You have to consider the numerator. 
if numerator whichever numerator is bigger that number is considered to be bigger this 3 by 5 2 by 5 denominator is same and numerator here numerator is 3 uh, here 2 so this term is bigger because denominator is same so we are considering only numerator like numerator and unlike denominator when the numerator is same and denominator is different in this case what we do we will take the less number in the denominator is the bigger one when the numerator is same value of denominator we have to consider the less value in the denominator will be considered as the big number you can divide and also you can see that this term you will get 0. 0.5630 and if you will divide this you will get less value here you can uh, check also like this unlike numerator and unlike denominator when numerator is also different and denominator is also different in that case we have to take the lcm lcm of the denominator lcm of 8 2 into 2 into 2 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 lcm of 6 2 3 is a 6 uh, this factors first first we have to take the factors then we'll take the lcm how to take lcm we will take the common terms first this 2 i am writing in writing it with red color 2 2 this 2 is common so i am writing it at uh, uh, one time writing it as uh, one time then whatever is left i am going to write it here 2 into 2 into 3 so 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 3 is a 24 so our lcm is 24 i have to make this term denominator 24 so what uh, you will multiply with this 8 to make it 24 8 4 is a 24 whatever you are doing in the denominator same you have to do in the numerator so i am multiplying this 8 with 4 and this numerator also with 4 so what you will get uh, th there is a printing mistake actually here you will get 12 12 by 24 5 by 6 is equal to you have to make again this term as 24 6 fours are 24 5 fours are 20. whatever you are doing in the denominator same you have to do in the numerator so 5 fours are 20 6 fours are 24 now you will compare this denominator is same now you have to consider the numerator 9 and 20 which one is bigger this 20 is bigger so uh, actually it is 12 so 12 or 20 which one is bigger this 20 is bigger so we will take this 5 by 6 as the bigger fraction arranging the fractions in the ascending order 5 by 6 7 by 8 5 by 9 if you have to arrange this in ascending order again you have to take the lcm of the denominator 6 8 and 9 first you will take the factors 2 into 3 8 as 2 2 2 9 as 3 into 3 how to take lcm first we will take the common terms this 2 and this 2 is common 2 is not here. So, I am taking in, in these two terms, 2 is common. Now, this 3 and this 3 common. So, I am writing it one time, 2 and 3. I am writing it one time only. What is left? 2 into 2 into 3. So, 2 into 2 into 3. Multiply. 2 3 is a 6. 6 2 is a 12. 12 2 is a 24. 24 3 is a 72. So, your LCM is 72. Now, you have to make this denominator 72. So, how to do it? M divide this 72 by 6. What you will get? 12 quotient. 12. So, 12 6 are. 12 6 are 72. Whatever you are doing in the denominator, same you have to do in the multiplication, uh, in the numerator. 5 into 12 is 60. Here also, you have to make this term 72. So, 8 in into what number you will get uh, you will multiply 8 by which numbers to get the 72 so again divide the 72 by 8 you will get 9 8 nines are or you can just if you know the tables then it is easier for you 8 nines are 72 and 7 nines are whatever you are doing in the denominator same you have to do in the numerator 7 nines are 63 third term 9 eights are 72 5 eights are 40 denominator is same so we have to arrange according to numerator considering numerator 
arranging an ascending order means smaller number to bigger number so first this value will come 40 by 72 then this 60 by 72 then this 40 by 72 is smaller than this this is smaller than this this is ascending order if you want to write this in descending order write this term first the bigger value first then this value and then last value this will come last if you have to arrange this in descending order then we'll write the bigger value first then the this one will come five by six and then last one is five by nine this is all for today please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you